Hello Enchanting Creatives, welcome back. Today's creation is inspired by one of Earth's greatest beauties, gems. Join me on my journey where I create this gorgeous malachite acrylic pouring geode full of rich colors and magical sparkle. Adorned with an allure of mystery, malachite is a hypnotizing gem. Like a mesmerizing beauty, it puts you under its spell the moment you lay eyes on it. As this project unfolds, you will discover my most treasured gems and the story behind the creation of this magical piece. I hope you enjoy, so sit back, relax, and let's make some magic. You will need a wooden panel, primary color elements from Color Art, vivid enamel pouring medium, white and black acrylic paint, some stirring sticks, mixing cups, and glitter. All the supplies are listed in the description box below this video. Now I'm using a canvas that I found at the dollar store. You want to use something that is solid like this because canvas usually warp with the weight of crystals. So first of all, let's talk about our pouring medium. So um, here, this is a mix of, I have it in this bottle, but it's not just Vivid Enamel. Right here, I have mixed uh, one part Vivid Enamel, one part Varathane polyurethane, water-based, one fourth part water, and I forgot to write here that it's also one fourth part GAC 800. So now let's look at the colors that we're going to be using. This one is Malachite. It's a color art primary element, very gorgeous green with uh, lots of sparkle. This one is a mix of Daffodil and Bells of Ireland. This one is a gold color and it's a mix between golden maple and Midas. The, these are from the Bling It line of pigments from Color Art. And so I mixed both of them just so that I could get a color, a golden color that was in between these two. This one here is Midori Melon. It's also a primary element pigment and also a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I have some white and some black. These are Artist Loft paints. It's the Flow Acrylics and um, the ones that come in the big tubes, in the big jugs, not tubes, in the big containers. Um, and then I just mix those with also the pouring medium. These are four ounce cups. And what I did was I added two ounces of paint, two ounces of pouring medium, and then three quarters of an ounce of water. So just double check if three quarters of an ounce doesn't get your paint mix to be the same consistency as these other ones then just add you know a little bit more add one fourth i mean one ounce or more if needed this one's a little thicker so i'm going to add a little bit of water to this here i have some glitter that i've mixed with the same pouring medium but this is not paint, this is glitter. And it's this beautiful, beautiful glitter. It's Enchanted Forest from EnchantingFineArt.com. It's a gorgeous green glitter that has golden sparkles everywhere. So it's beautiful. Now, I am hoping that I can add lines of this to my painting. I am not sure if it's going to work. So this is kind of like an experiment. I'm hoping it will work, but we'll see. What I did was I made this a, a very, very thick mixture. So this one doesn't have the same consistency as the paint because I don't want this to spread out. I want to stay in thin lines and we'll see if it works. And also I don't know if 
the pouring medium is going to dull the sparkle from this glitter. So this is just a super thick mixture, but still a little runny, okay? Not completely a paste. So first I'm going to add some white on this corner because that's where I want to have a little bit of crystals. Since I couldn't show you all the steps and detailed instructions in this video because of the time constraints, I'm going to be making a free mini class. So if you want to see the step-by-step -step process with detailed instructions on how to create this geode, get on my email list because I will be emailing my list when this free mini class is available. To get on my email list, just go to loveacrylicpainting.com and click on free resources on the menu and download any of the free guides or cheat sheets that I offer. I will also email you when the masterclass for this gorgeous amethyst geode is available inside my Bling It Geodes course but you can join the geodes course now before the price goes up by going to loveacrylicpainting.com forward slash geodes. Okay, back to the creation process. Right here, I'm going to make a tiny geode. Hopefully it's tiny. And I'm going to mix, add some black first actually in a tiny cup like this. What I love about color art primary elements is that they bleed into each other, making them the perfect paint for creating geodes. The colors will sort of blend in with each other at the edge where one color ends and the other one begins. Other artists see this bleeding property as a flaw, but I see it as a unique attribute that can be used to create beautiful geodes. This brings me to today's story. These past months, I have struggled a lot with my teenage daughter's behavior. Parenting hasn't been fun, and sometimes I've forgotten to see her for who she truly is. She is not her mistakes. She is not her attitude. She is my daughter, friendly, kind, and beautiful in many ways. This geode creation helped me remember to embrace uniqueness as a beautiful part of who she is and see not only with my eyes, but also with my heart. Okay, now I'm going to give this glitter a go. just curious to see how this is going to dry up. I'm going to tilt this. What amazes me most about gems is that they are created over hundreds or thousands of years, either through heat, pressure, or other dramatic and rough changes in the earth. I can't help but feel captivated by their beauty. We as humans are also transformed, polished, and beautified through trials, disease, and hardships. This week, as I was deeply heartbroken by some of my daughter's decisions, I myself made a bad decision when parenting her. Both of us, with our hearts aching and tears in our eyes, we witnessed the miracle of healing and forgiveness when we were reminded that God knows our needs as we heard the song, Consider the Lilies, being played at church. Now, you may not be religious, and that is okay, 
But I wanted to share this with you because even if you believe in some other sort of deity or the universe or yourself, you need to remember that you are as unique and precious as gemstones and someone is always watching over you. You are loved and no matter your mistakes, you can be forgiven and healed and through those mistakes and aching moments, you can grow to shine as a precious gem. I think that's it. I'm going to stop messing with this and we're going to let it dry. Now that the paint has dried, I added a layer of acrylic spray varnish. I let that dry and now I'm adding some crystals to my geode. For this, I'm using the Tri-Art Liquid Glass and first I'm going to add a very nice thick coat of this Triart Liquid Glass all over the surface of the geode. This will help protect it and will serve as a glue for my crystals. I added way too much so I just went ahead and removed the excess but I prefer to add a lot of varnish to prevent this varnish from drying up on me because it does dry up really fast. So now I'm just placing all the crystals in the areas where I want my crystals to be and then I'm going to drizzle a little bit more of that Tri-Art liquid glass right on top of those crystals to make sure that all of the pieces are glued together and um, none of them fall out after the piece dries. Now I'm going to sprinkle a few of these micro iridescent pearls from Enchanting Fine Art. These are the Enchanted Forest Micro Pearls. They are absolutely gorgeous. Make sure that you drizzle enough Triart liquid glass on your crystals so that these micro pearls can stick to them. Now we're going to let this piece dry. Now I'm going to add a few more lines of glitter. So I'm mixing my Enchanted Forest Glitter again from EnchantingFineArt.com and I'm mixing that with the Tri-Art Liquid Glass to make it into a thick but somewhat runny paste. And I'm just going to drizzle that, make some lines over the areas where I want my glitter lines. To add some golden accents to my geode, I use the alcohol ink from Pinata. It is the brass color. And all I do is just drizzle some of that onto the edges of my crystals and sometimes I add a little bit of that ink over some of those crystals. Once everything is dry I go over the edges and I glue some more crystals because obviously I can't glue those crystals on the edges with the Triart liquid glass on that first step because they would obviously fall off so I use hot glue to glue them in place. I decided to draw in some lines with my Poshka pens, however, these pens are acrylic based, 
So if you add another top coat of triart liquid glass, the ink is going to smear. So you have to protect it somehow. And this time I decided to add a top coat of acrylic spray varnish. However, that was sort of a mistake because I did start seeing that the bottom layer of triart liquid glass started to wrinkle. In the future, I might use try to use something else to protect these lines before I add my top coat of triart liquid glass. I made these glittery bubbles with the remaining mixture of triart liquid glass and glitter that I had from my glitter lines. So I just made those so that I could use those for future artwork. Now I'm going to add a top coat of triart liquid glass to make sure that everything looks cohesive and at this point, I also like to drizzle a little bit of that triart liquid glass on the crystals on the sides just to make sure that they stay in place. And this will also serve as a glue if you need to put any other embellishments on top. During the creation of this geode, I was reminded of the true gems in my life, my daughters, my husband, my parents, my friends, my family. The gems in our lives need to be treated with love and kindness. And I hope that I can be better as a person today than I was yesterday, that my words and my actions can speak of true kindness and love. I decided to call this piece healing and forgiveness because it will forever remind me of that precious moment when she and I were able to hug each other and forgive each other for the mistakes in our lives and when we were reminded of our infinite value and I hope that you can remember your true value a value that is beyond the value of precious gems.